Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Cudwell. And over there, we have John Lewandowski. How you doing, John? Hey, pretty good. All righty. Hello, everybody, on our YouTube page. I know you guys have not seen us in a while doing some NHL news here. Um, we've got a little bit of a... Uh, <laughs> a little bit of a video for you guys. Uh, we haven't done much, but we're going to be coming back next year full time. So we're going to start off with uh, our friends have been eliminated. So first things first on that not, uh, docket is Phil Forsberg. Phil Forsberg has came out into the press with an ad. Uh, this was released at 817. So John, me and you were already prepping for this when, we, when it came out. <laughs> right. Look, you have no clue what is about to come your way. I'm sorry, man. Mm. All right, Phil Forsberg says the goal is to come back to the Predators. Um, long story short, he said he spent 10 years with Nashville. They ended up getting swept. Hmm. He said the goal is to come back here. The business side is completely different than the I side. We'll kind of have to wait and see how it plays out. Right. There's obviously been some negotiation progress throughout the season from where we started in September. Me and my agent and the Preds and the fr Preds front office are ongoing on the conversation in the, the process. And we'll just have to see where we end. Um, the 27 year old, I think he's a Swede, if I remember correctly, is from Sweden. Yes, yes, the Sweden. Um, has set career highs this year with 42 goals, 42 assists, with 84 points on the final year of his contract. Three times 30 goal scorer has uh is about 469 points in 566 NHL games. Forsberg is also the career leader in goals. Stanley put playoff goals and playoff points for the Preds. He said he likes the direction the Preds are going and who reached the postseason for the eighth season in a row. And this season as the Wild West second wild card. I've been fortunate enough to be on this team long enough long, for a long time now. And we've made the playoffs almost every year. But at the same time, every player plays to win the Stanley Cup and so do I. That's my biggest goal, and I do believe we have a team that can do make that in the future. I think that the the direction that the team has been heading is that is the direction that the team has been heading, and I think we are. Contract negotiations were paused following the deadline so that he can focus on playing hockey, which he really did ramp it up after the deadline. Yeah. So he did play very well. He, he he just didn't have a good postseason, and I don't know if it's Heinz or what it is, but we'll. And uh, as far as anything else, as far as this concerns, uh, Roman Yossi said that uh, obviously, as captain, you want guys like Forsberg to stay. He's such a big part of the team. Great player. Me and him came into Milwaukee together, and he's become a really good friend. I want him to stay here, obviously. Definitely mentioning that I will be definitely mentioning that to him. Big, but at the end of the day, we all know it's a business. Right. All righty. Speaking of businesses, um, uh, the the name of the game these days is making money. How you make money? Win awards. Have your team win awards. People will see them. They want to come see them. So everybody wants to see a top goalie play. This year's Vezina nominees. Jacob Markstrom, UC Saros, Igor Shostorkin. If I had to choose, it'd be Igor Shostorkin. He just had an amazing season. He had an amazing season. Not taking away from Saros. Right. Storkin went 37-15-9 and in 36. His 63 games. Uh, wait, sorry, that was uh, that was Markstrom. Shostorkin went 36, 13, and 4 in 52 games, 52 
or 53 gave 52 starts. Mm. He had a point nine two nine save percentage against the opposing power play. Oh wow! Um, UC Saros led the C NHL in games played in sixty seven starts for the NHL. Went thirty eight twenty five and three. So he definitely, you know. And he would also become the second Predators player to win it. But as I said, Igor Sestarkin and Markstrom just had amazing seasons. Right. But neither one of that. Uh, and the only thing that gives Saros much like Yossi the edge is Matt Duchesne, Forsberg, Yossi. That's all this team has. Um, draft lottery was today. Yep. So we're going to start from the bottom up. The Buffalo Sabres will be picking 16th as the pick they get for Jack Eichel. Vancouver will be picking 15th, Winnipeg 14th, Islanders 13th, Columbus 12th, uh, Jose 11th, and I'm 10th, Buffalo 9th, uh, Detroit the 8th, uh, Ottawa the 7th, uh, Columbus picking via the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, I believe that was the Seth Jones trade. So, I chuckle at it because Chicago. Ha! Uh, Philadelphia picks fifth. Seattle fourth. Arizona third. New Jersey second. And Montreal is first. So there's your draft ranking. But this guy deserves the most of our attention. Patrick Marlowe just retired from the NHL. And... He played – he last played in 2020-2021. Uh, spent a whole year on free agency. 21 seasons for the Sharks. 1,607 games for them. 522 goals. 1,011 111 points. Assists are 5,800 or 5,500 and 89 assists behind Joe Thornton, who has 804. Um, he announced his retirement. He said that it was tough enough not play to not play this season. It's a lot harder to know that I'm not going to play again. I just don't. My body doesn't. I can't keep up. Basically, yeah, you make right. Sense. Um. Which is actually kind of funny because when he was drafted, he was only 17 years old. Yeah. And he played his first game as a shark at the age of 17. Oh, wow. California Health and Safety and uh, uh, Child Administration was contacted by the Sharks back in, uh, back when he was 17 years old. Uh, he played for the Seattle Thunderbirds in the Western Hockey League. I just think that's really cool that that, that story came out. Um, yeah. He passed Gordy how most games played, who, which he was now beaten by a former teammate, Joe Thornton. <laughs> right. So um, Patrick Marlowe definitely deserves this. Um, you know, I, I, I just, man, it's, it's crazy to think that I'm this old now. <laughs> right. Um, just a little quick rundown of what's going on in the league. The Wild are leading the Blues, or the Wild are leading the Blues uh, halfway into the second. <coughs> um, so halftime. That's a little Admiral's inside joke. Um, 
if you want to know, just go to a Badger game. I'll explain it to you. Um, they're leading two to one. Kings are, be are leading the Oilers one nothing at the end of one. Uh, the Carolina Hurricanes handled the Bruins five to one, and the Maple Leafs beat the Lightning four to three. The Le Le Leafs are one game away from advancing and eliminating the defending Stanley Cup champions in the first round. Tomorrow's games on tap are the Pittsburgh Penguins, who are one game away from advancing and defeating the Rangers. Uh, the Capitals and Panthers are tied at two apiece. And the uh, Stars and Flames are tied at two apiece. Uh, all of those games will be on ESPN and ESPN2. So for anybody willing to watch. Thank you guys for watching, and this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. See you all later.